All right, you guys, this is the one. Check out the sweatage going on. Check out the glute pump. The glutes are glued in, the workouts work out in. You guys wanna try this, trust me, dumbbells only. Let's do it. Okay, so these are going to be banded RDLs, but if you don't have a band, you can do these without the band, but I'm showing you a technique to make them even more effective for the glutes. So when you set this up, you just wanna make sure that, why am I blanking out? Okay, you just wanna make sure that it's in line with your hips, wherever you have it. So just like that, gonna go in it. And you wanna get a challenging band, so get as challenging of a band as you can. This one felt pretty good when I was testing them out prior. So you just wanna go ahead, Put it around right where you would put the barbell if you were going to do a barbell hip thrust. Grab your dumbbells. And then you're going to walk out so that there's enough resistance like pulling against you. And then since we have the band resisting us back, unlike a typical RDL, the weight is actually going to travel a little bit in front of you, which is okay. So you wanna think thrusting tight into that band rather than focusing on the dumbbells themselves. Hey guys, I wanted to pop in and let you know that Gymshark has a member sale going on right now that ends 5 p.m. EST on Monday, May 1st. You can also use the code HUNTERCP at checkout on top of the sales to save even more money. So if you've been wanting to get some of their stuff, now is the time. My outfit and more details on that will be in the description box below. So the cool thing about this variation is that when you're coming out with an RDL, you have all that tension at the bottom, but then as you come up, you lose all that tension on your glutes. But now in the shortened position, they're also being trained because you have the resistance around your waist. So that's why this is a really good variation. Not sure what the crotch situation is looking like, so hopefully we get a flattering enough angle. We're going to be doing deficit reverse lunges. But again, if you don't have access to plates, all you have is dumbbells, you can just do regular standard reverse lunges for this. But this is another technique to take your glutes through a further range of motion. I'm using a bumper plate, a 45 pound bumper plate, and we're gonna use that to give us more range of motion so that when we go back, we're able to sink deeper, get a further stretch in our glutes. Okay, so I'm doing these braced. So we want a good step back and sinking back into that glute and up. You want a slight hinge forward to further stretch our glutes. And swap sides. And I'm using straps for everything because my grip strength just cannot be bothered today. Try your best to keep that front chin vertical just to really eliminate that knee drive so it's more glutes and less quads. You will get some quads still in this, so don't freak out if you feel them. And I also want to note that when I'm bracing with this, I'm not using it to pull me up at all. It's just there to give me a little stability. That's it. One more thing I did want to mention about deficits is that if you're going to use it, actually use it. So that means your knee needs to surpass this point. If you're not going lower than where your foot is on the plate, then there's no purpose in using the deficit because you're not getting that extra range anyways, which is okay if your mobility doesn't allow for it, but just be conscious of that if you are going to do the deficit variation.
You guys do not underestimate dumbbell workouts and exercises. Ooh. So for this exercise, you actually want to have your chin tucked and to avoid your neck muscles feeling strained, what you can do, again, you don't have to if you don't have it, but it helps, is get a BOSU ball and then I just put my mat over it. And that way you're not having to strain your neck at all while you're doing this exercise. And what this does is it helps keep you from hyperextending your lower back while doing this. And when you come up, you're gonna have all that contact and your glute. Then in my last glute video, you saw me doing a B stance hip thrust where I held the dumbbell vertically. But for these, because of the way we're positioned, I actually like to drape it. Just makes it easier. And then I just use the, the palm of my hand to brace the dumbbell get into position, really dig my elbows in the ground, and make sure you come up for a full contraction in your glute. One, Guys, next up we have dumbbell glute step ups. So you will need a bench or whatever you have that you can use that is stable that you can stand on. That's going to give you a decent range. I added a bumper plate as well, just to give me a little bit more range because this bench was a little low. And so for these, we want these to be a glute bias step up. So what you're going to do is I like to bring my foot a little bit more forward just so I can eliminate that knee drive as I step up. Try to keep that front shin vertical, have a slight hinge forward. And you really wanna think about sinking back into that glute as you go down and then come back up. Really keeping all the tension in your glutes. So pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, touch down and use your glute to pull yourself up. Again, I'm bracing with these, just like with the other exercise, to really keep all the contact on my glutes. And these, you'll notice that I personally like to take these very slow and controlled to get the most out of the movement. And one last tip is that when you come down, don't bounce and use momentum to push yourself up because then that's not using your glutes. That's gonna take the tension off your glutes and start recruiting a bunch of other muscles and using a lot of momentum to get you up and that's not what we want. So notice how slow and controlled I'm going and being mindful of my glutes the entire way through. Whew, do not be fooled. These are one of the hardest glute exercises in my opinion. And switch sides. Next up, we have single leg reverse hypers. So you're gonna have your hips hinging off the bench. Use it to brace yourself. You don't have to use a dumbbell, but I am. So I'm locking it in my knee and I'm just going to be bringing this up. Right. 
and you're only coming up as far as you need to get a full contraction in your glute, you don't want to hyperextend your back by bringing it up any further.